Hello and welcome to today's video. So the Union Health Ministry has recently announced reservations of seat for both OBCs and the economically weaker sections for the All India Medical and Dental courses. So like always, yet again, let's know more about the relevance of this particular subject in connection to your UPSC Civil Service examinations. So this comes under your GS paper to Social Justice and Governance, which is Social Sector and Social Services, Education and Health Related Issues, and government policies and initiate so in the last six years we can find is that the seats for the mbbs courses have drastically increased to almost 56 percent and that for the pg courses for almost 80 percent which is almost 180 new medical colleges has been established and now the country has more than 500 medical colleges and yes of course even the government colleges are also included under which is approximately around 290 numbers and medical education is the bedrock on which the needs of human resource for health, one of the major building blocks of any health systems are met. So today's health professionals are required to have knowledge, skills and professionalism to provide safe, effective, efficient, timely and affordable care to people. So what comes under the All India Quota for the medical seats and also for the dental courses as well? So the UN Health Ministry has announced almost 27% of reservations for the OBCs and 10% quota for the economically weaker sections or the EWS in the All India Quota Scheme for the undergraduate and postgraduate level for yes of course for both MBBS and dental courses starting from 2021 to 2022. So we all know that NEET is a uniform entrance examination for medical and dental colleges across the country in which the new reservations of both OBCs and EWS will have a strong impact or influence on it. And although the same NEET examinations is held across the country, a chunk of seat in state for both medical and dental colleges is reserved for students who are domiciles in the respective states. So the remaining seats, which is 15% in UG and 50% in PG are surrendered by the states to the All India Quota. And this scheme would benefit almost 1,500 students under the OBC for the medical and 2,500 such students in post-graduation and around 550 in the EW students in the MBBS and around approximately 1000 such students in the post graduations. So the OBC students from across the country will be able to take the benefit of this new scheme and policy. And this being a central scheme, the central list of OBCs shall be used for this reservation. So when the question arises of how the present reservation scheme came into being, I think it's pretty much important for us to go back to back in 2007 when there were no reservations as well. But in 2007, it was the Supreme Court who introduced the reservations of 15% for STs and 7.5% for the STs in the scheme. And with the central education institutions, the act became effective in 2007. And providing for uniform 27% reservations to the OBCs, the same was implemented in the all central education institutes. But however, this was not extended to the all India quota seats for both state and as well as for the center medical and the dental courses. Essentially, the denial of the OBCs and the EWS reservations has been the subject of protest for years. And in July last year, the Madras High Court ruled that the OBC students too can avail reservations in the All India Quota. It then held the reservations could not be implemented for them the academic year for want of time and can be implemented from 2021 to 2022. So when the next question arises of what All India Quota is all about, so AIQ or the All India Quota was introduced in 1986 under the directions of the Supreme Court so that they could provide domicile-free and merit-based opportunities to students from any state to study in a good medical colleges or in any other state. For example, a student domiciled in Uttar Pradesh, if he wants to study in somewhere else, for example, in Delhi, they may be eligible for admission to a seat provided this person's scores are high enough in the national merit list. And if this person's score is not good enough for the AIQ or the All India Quota, there still may be some hope for under the state quota in their home, which is the domicile seat. So when you're wrapping out, we should understand that all the deemed and the central universities or the ESICs and the armed forces medical colleges, the 100% seats are reserved under the All India Quota. So that's it for today's video. For more such videos, click on subscribe button and watch the other videos.